Hey lovelies, it's your girl Candace. I'm here with Confidential Talk. I am here to give y'all some last minute date night options for Valentine's Day. And this is, I mean, this is not just for Valentine's Day. These are just great last minute date night options. So we're gonna start off with the cheaper stuff first, okay? So, of course I had to put Bolin on the list. Now, I will say, if your girl have nails, and usually I am that one with a long nail. So, when I have long nails, I can't go bowling. But, if your girl have short nails, um, or no, like, artificial nails on, she's good to go. Yes, take her bowling. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever you're dating, take them bowling. Bowling is such a competitive, like, fun sport. It's indoors. I know, for me, on the East Coast here, it is heavy okay so I will say that pretty much this whole list is like weather like I guess cold weather friendly okay I've never heard somebody say I don't like bowling bowling is fun it's competitive um, it's easy to play unless you got them fingernails another one that I have on the list here is at home game night now at home game night still gonna cost you boo okay I mean you may have the cards you might have some games but do you have the snacks so you know you can't just be like oh we're gonna play some games at home you can't do that that's not what I'm saying when I say at home game night you gotta set it up you gotta make it look fun so when they come in um, to your home or wherever y'all having game day night you gotta set it up so you gotta have the games already out on the table maybe a food tray you know like a nice little snack tray uh, a glass of wine two glasses you know some stuff you gotta have some stuff with game night shots however y'all do the thing you gotta have it set up and have to have it in a way that looks like I'm not just saying oh let's do this because it's last minute and we just gone I'm just gonna pull out a deck of cards and we'll have play a game or two no like you gotta have you gotta make it look like you put some thought into it guys so make sure you guys set the room set the atmosphere the ambiance okay play some music get the wine or the shots out it's about the ambiance it's about the excitement it's about all that okay and we talking about we doing the things a little bit more inexpensive you can't you can't make it look cheap okay you got you got make it look like you put some effort into it guys okay you know put some effort the next one I have on my list would be to uh, do like a local museum. Usually museums are inexpensive. Um, I know some of the newer ones that are coming out with all the crazy stuff, they're like $30, $40. That's up to y'all, okay? That might be more on the expensive side because that's you and your, you know, your significant other's ticket. So that like is like $80 or $90. So, you know, just be mindful you know especially if you want to save some money but usually your local museum is not too expensive you guys could maybe um grab a like bite to eat beforehand at somewhere small like a little cafe get some like like just snacks and like coffee or something like that or tea and then go to a museum and check out the local art that could be like a really good thing like that could be a really good fun date night something different especially if you're somebody that usually don't go to museums museums are actually really fun especially if it's like an art museum or somewhere that you can actually learn stuff um i know some people just might want to go for just to look around versus reading so up to your discretion which one you choose but definitely check out some of the museums that you have in your city because i'm pretty sure you your city probably has stuff that you didn't even know that your city had, okay? So, the next one on the list that's going to be inexpensive is, ooh, this y'all, this is my favorite. <laughs> it is Paint and Sip, okay? So, Paint and Sip Night is actually an event in a lot of places. There's like, it's like a, I think it's like a company. Maybe it's not a company. I don't know. But, you usually can find like a company doing the Paint and Sips in your city, but... If you cannot find that, you can actually set that up at home, okay? So, of course, you got to protect your, your property. So, you got to put out, get you a nice, huge plastic sheet and, you know, get the canvases, get some paint, some paint brushes. Maybe you just pick out, like, a couple of different um, actual already painted uh, pieces so you guys can have, like, some inspiration. You know, just kind of set that up. And, of course, that is going to cost you a little bit, so that's why it's on my cheaper list. You're going to have to get the supplies. But it is a little bit cheaper than maybe going out and doing anything else. And it's a, it, it, it's a little bit... I feel like it has more thought into it. When you actually go above and beyond and get all the stuff for the paint and sip, you have the wine, you have, like, snacks and stuff. I'm, I'm with these snack trays, y'all. You gotta have snacks, always. I love to eat. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, I love to eat. But, you know, have your nice little snack tray. 
and you know set everything up and just like paint and like play some music in the background or you guys can like maybe have a movie playing in the background and you guys can talk and like paint and just like politic with each other and have some sips of wine or some cocktails you know spice it up guys uh, you can that's what i'm saying there's so many things that you could do that's inexpensive that that is going to be just as fun as going out and spending your money okay well, the last one on the cheaper list would be to do a beach picnic of course if you got that good weather honey we ain't going out to the beach out here on the east coast but if you find yourself in a warm place do a nice little beach picnic get some nice fun foods not just snacks you need food food and then of course you could do like you could still do like a movie you could bring your laptop out there and like like video watching and then you know do the wine and the food and stuff like that be careful because i know laws don't really have um don't really allow you drinking outside so you do have to be careful in certain areas but you know have yourself a good time on the beach so these are going to be a little bit more expensive again there's not too many things that's on this list that are like super expensive um i'm gonna let you ball out but the first one on the more expensive list will be like a david busters and i don't know i think david busters is like global but they might not be so if you're not familiar with david busters it's pretty much like an arcade food bar place so they have like all your arcade games and they're pretty much for adults and kids so they have like the, the, the more you know the earlier ones like this more kiddish and then they have like the adult ones and they have like in the middle so like it's a huge arcade um and they have a bar there they serve food and you know they have music in the background so it's just like an all in all really fun place for grown-ups to go and have a good time you could like take your family there so say if you're somebody that has your kids on valentine's day you want to do something with your whole family a uh, david busters or a scene 75 you take your family there take your date there it is such a good time another good option would be to book a couple's massage um, there's a lot of massage parlors I know around my city, so it would be really easy to get in somewhere last minute. Um, so you could book like a, a couple's massage, maybe have dinner before, uh, and that is just very relaxing, sensual, sexy, and it can kind of get you guys in this relaxed mood so when you get home you're more ready to cuddle and be more intimate with each other try a new restaurant or take them to your favorite restaurant that's always a good option y'all y'all act like, look foot feed me baby feed me honey i love food okay so let's not act like going out to dinner is not a date not a good date night option y'all because i love to eat okay so take me to a new restaurant uh somewhere we've never been or a new restaurant in our city i know again where i live at we have hella different restaurants out here there's so many different options it's like we have a long list of places that we want to go and check out but you know we'll get there we get there because there's just so many new places so try a new restaurant or go to your favorite restaurant if you're someone that really don't like to try new stuff um and and engage with each other this is an opportunity for you to really get to talk and like hang out and really just engage in one other one another and notice nothing on this list is non-engaging everything you're going to be able to engage with each other because that is a good date night so the next thing on my list oh my god y'all i just actually recently went candle making and it was so fun i actually made me a nice candle that smells so good i called her warm nikki and of course she smells like warm vanilla <sighs> because i'm so boring like that y'all i just love give me warm and vanilla cinnamon marshmallow <sighs> like around that right there i'm good that's i just need warmth okay i love a warm candle and you know my boyfriend enjoyed it we had a really really good time they had drinks there so a lot of these candle places where you can like actually go in and make candles it's super easy to do just go smell the scents pick out your scents and mix the oils and it's super fun you have drinks while you do it and it's just a cutesy date so i definitely recommend doing something like that or i put like doing pottery i'm um, drink making i really wouldn't recommend wine tasting because you can really get fucked up and that ruin your evening so that's why that is not on the list but like anything with like just kind of creating different things um so like the drink making is cool because it's not just necessarily wine tasting um the pottery is a really good option so yeah 
last thing on my list I was gonna say was to either go rock climbing or to go indoor skydiving. Now, indoor skydiving, I said these because they're more adventurous for the more adventurous people or maybe someone that's never done it. I will honestly say that I have been indoor skydiving and it was an experience I'm glad I, I'm glad I had. I had to have it, okay? I needed to do that. But would I pay to do it again? <laughs> I probably wouldn't because you're only up in the air for like a minute but it was a really good experience and I loved it it was very memorable um it it was a great ex again it was a great experience even though we weren't up there for a long time and that's the only thing that was kind of like the downfall to me I loved actually being up there so if there is actually a package that you could purchase where you're actually just floating up in the air a lot longer I definitely recommend doing it so yeah, skydiving, but skydiving is definitely a little bit expensive. I think it's like 90 per person, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? So, and then I think your city has to have it. I don't know, because like even my city, I don't think they have anywhere that we could do actually indoor skydiving. So, I did this when I was out of town. But, you could also do rock climbing. That would be a really good option, and which I think is not that expensive. So, that might be a really good option for you guys to interact and challenge your bodies. But, yes, thank you guys so much. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, really good date night ideas, Valentine's Day ideas. Make sure you drop in the comments if you want to add anything that I may have missed so you feel like it's a good idea for date night. Um, you know, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, okay? Become part of the Confidential Talk family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.